Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update here. This is what's currently going on right now in the tropics. Uh, we got three things to talk about. Tropical Cyclone 13S, Tropical Cyclone 14S, and Tropical Cyclone 12S. Also known as Eloise, which is a big story right now worldwide. Um, however, I want to really quickly take a look at 13S here. In this, this latest forecast cone from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. 35 now, Tropical Storm is about 40 miles per hour as it starts to slowly move away and then as it slowly moves away, it starts to gain uh, forward speed here as it moves away and uh, maybe slightly intensify further up to maybe a 45 knot tropical storm, which is what the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is thinking um, as it moves away from the Cocos Islands there. And here's satellite imagery of the storm right now. And uh, it looks a lot healthier than it did last update um, in terms of at least convective activity there, as you can see. Um, so that's infrared imagery. And here's water, not water vapor, here's uh, visible imagery. Of the storm there, you can quite clearly they see the exposed center circulation there of the storm, and uh, looks like in the last two frames there, as that new convective burst pops up, looks like the center is trying to get drawn in into uh, all those uh, con convective uh, bursts that are going on with that. So just under watch here, and um, uh, again, it's forecast to slowly move away from the Cocos Islands here. So um, hopefully you guys aren't really uh, having too much of a rough ride with this um, as the storm starts to move away from you now. And here's Tropical Cyclone 14S, which recently uh, made landfall over Australia. And it, as of this last forecast to come from the Toronto Typhoon Warning Center, they have it as a 40 knot tropical storm. It's about 45 miles per hour. Uh, fortunately, 14S made landfall over over a fairly rural part of uh, Australia, to my understanding. Not many people really live in this part of uh, Australia, if any, where the cyclone is making landfall um, that I'm aware of. Um, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Um, and as you can see in this latest forecast, this last forecast cone, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has this storm dissipate pretty much by the 23rd. Um, so by about tomorrow at around 12 UTC, but it looks a bit as of this last forecast cone. Um, this is what the storm cone satellite image right now. Um, as you can see that all that uh, convective activity you saw in the first few frames of that satellite loop is um, really dwindling away here as it of course is getting further and further inland here. And here's what the storm looks like on satellite imagery right now. And a uh, really uh, sheared and uh, unhealthy looking tropical cyclone right now is what you're seeing. And then here's to the big, uh, here's the big uh, story to talk about worldwide right now. In the tropics, we got now Cyclone Eloise now, which is a 65 knot cyclone, which is about 75 miles per hour forecast to peak as a 75 knot or about 85 mile per hour cyclone. Um, uh, before landfall there over perhaps right over maybe just do just barely south of Biera Mozambique there and if the name Biera sounds familiar to you that's the exact same area that got hit by um, a catastrophic cyclone by the name of Idai in March 2019 which um, ended up being the most costly and, and the deadliest tropical cyclone period to uh, occur in this part of the world in this basin here um, for the tropical cyclone so hopefully history doesn't repeat itself and we don't get um, as many um, fatalities or damage as we did uh, did see with um, a die um, and hopefully we get through this with the least amount of fatalities and least amount of uh, uh, damage we could possibly get um, with this tropical cyclone here this is again going to be a serious cyclone for you guys down here if you haven't uh, prepared already ahead of time for this it's like I said it's too late to at this point in time quite frankly and uh, you just got to hunker down and wish for the best here and uh, hope we get through this cyclone all right um, here's what the storm looks like on water, not water vapor, here's what the storm looks like on infrared imagery, I'm sorry, over the past 12 and a half hours here, and uh, as you can see, especially in those last few frames there of that uh, satellite loop, uh, and I really trying to get going there, so uh, really bad news um, for Mozambique here. And then here's water vapor imagery of the storm, and uh, again, as you saw at, at uh, as, as, again, as, like you saw at infrared imagery, the storm is really trying to get attacked together. Then here's visible satellite imagery of the storm, and uh, you can really see the eye uh, feature really trying to clear out there and get itself centered and, and going um, on those last few frames there. And uh, right eerily right there is the city of Biera, Mozambique, uh, down below uh, on your screen there. And here's a wider view of water vapor imagery of the storm right now, the cyclone. And uh, it gives you just a wider perspective of things here of what's currently going on around the system. And uh, again, you can just see nothing but a textbook example of a intensifying cyclone um, in the southern hemisphere here. And uh, with that, uh, that is about it for this tropical update here. Um, uh, that's really all I wanted to talk about. 
uh, I guess for a really short summary for those of you guys who may have skipped to the end of this video, um, if we have anybody that lives in, in uh, BR Mozambique, or if we know it, if we know anybody, uh, if we have or know anybody that lives in Mozambique, uh, BR Mozambique, or if you yourself live in BR Mozambique, uh, please take this cyclone seriously here. Uh, stay safe, hunker down, listen to your local officials, and uh, listen to what they tell you to do um, uh, when the cyclone hits you. And um, again, stay safe, and uh, hopefully you get through this all right. And uh, I wish you the best here, honestly. Um, and getting through this, this is again going to be a serious cyclone for those of you guys down here in Mozambique. Um, and uh, hopefully this is not doesn't get as bad as uh, it died did in 2019. Uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully it doesn't get as bad as that. Um, but we'll see about that. And uh, again, like I said, um, if you live down there or if you know anybody that lives down there, please let them know and make them aware of this tropical cyclone, of uh, this cyclone here. And uh, make sure they're staying safe and they're hungering down. Um, ahead of this at a time for this tropical cyclone here this uh, cyclone named louise uh, right now in the mozambique channel so if you have any questions or comments then then in the comments section below and i try to answer them to the best of my ability um if you want to know website if you want to know what websites and sites that they use to this tropical update uh they're down in the description below get take a look at some of them and it'll take you to some of the websites that i use for this tropical update um if you're curious on that and um again um that's gonna be about it for this tropical update here uh, hope everybody has a great day at Gazar. Stay safe, of course, especially for those guys in Mozambique. Um, I'm wishing you well here. This is going to be uh, a rough ride for you guys, unfortunately. Another rough ride for you guys, unfortunately. So, uh, uh, again, I really hope everybody uh, gets through this here and uh, everybody stays safe down there. Till then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.